This is the mechanism out of a uh, 200LU3 Seaberg library unit. Um, I'm going to demonstrate um, removing and disassembling the clutch for service. And as you can see, um, right now this, this box is, is in play mode. Um, we get the, the, the trip lever in the back and we reseat, reject the record. You'll see the clamp arm goes down. The mech falls into scan mode, but you can see the mech is not scanning it. It's just, it's like spinning in place. So we need to remove the clutch to, to clean it. The, the, the clutch on, on a most Seaberg, almost all Seaberg mechanisms is basically the same. Um, I'm just using this 200 CLU three, um, for, uh, for demonstration. So parts that have to be removed to take the clutch out. There are two screws at the top. There are two screws underneath. You have to remove the clutch, or I'm sorry, the uh, detent spring off of here. And the hardest part, once you get the clutch loose, is inside the safety plunger lever, there is an E-clip around um, the post uh, of the trip lever. Um, yeah, of the, the, the trip bar or play bar right here uh, that falls into the, the notches for play mode. That's the hardest part to get in and out. Um, let me get these things loose and I'll be back. All right, we've used a 5 16 inch nut driver, remove the two upper screws, Phillips screwdriver, remove the two bottom screws. Don't worry if they, the screws fall down through the bottom of the mech. That's not a problem. We've worked the the clutch loose. We've also taken loose the the detent spring right here, and it's just hanging, it's hanging loosely right here. We'll just leave it right there. Don't lose that spring. Now we're getting to the the hard part. Let's see if I can zoom in here. I've I've worked the clutch loose to the part where we can see the 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 small E clip on the safety plunger lever right here. This has to come off in order to get the, the, the clutch completely out. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit, give you a little better look at what that looks like. That's it right there. Now here's the clutch. I've worked the clutch loose. So I'm going to little screwdriver, try to pry that off and don't lose it because you have to have it. All right, we'll be right back after I get that loose. All right, let's get this, uh, let's try to get this clip loose. See if I can demonstrate it for you. Try to put a little more light over it. I like to use my head, my, 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 my eye magnifier here. Get down in here on this thing best you can. You just want to, you want to press on it and you want to try to pry it out as slowly and gently as possible. And if you drop it, You get your handy dandy magnetic tool here. Let's let's grab it out of here. There's that little E clip. It's small, so putting it on is the hard part. All right. So what that's going to allow us now to do is to try to work the safety plunger lever off the, the pin that it's riding on right here. So what I did I lift it up on the clutch lifting lever. It raised the safety plunger lever up, bar up, and I can move the safety plunger over and then let it back down, which it puts it on the other side. So now I should be able to more easily 
get it off of there. The, the top of the plunger rides in a little groove right here as well. So that kind of puts it at an odd angle trying to, trying to work it out. You just have to kind of work it gently back and forth until you can get that thing to come out of there and then work your clutch free of your mechanism body. So now, here's our clutch. Here's our clutch removed from the mech. A lot of stuff to clean up here still. So we're gonna we're gonna completely disassemble this now. We're gonna take out, we're gonna disassemble it from here. We're gonna we're gonna have, probably have to drive out the yoke pin. That's one thing that people tend to miss. They they get these things out and they clean them. And they think, oh, it's loose. Look how, look how it just flops up and down like that. Well, maybe, maybe not. Um, I, I've seen them work like this. And I've actually done this and put it back in after I've just kind of cleaned it and wiped it down and scrubbed it with a brush. And it's still not work. I had to actually go back in. And the pin in there, um, I had to actually try to punch out with a, with a, with a hammer and a punch. Because it was so, even though it flopped up and down on here, it wasn't loose enough. So, let's get this smeck and stuff out of the way. And let's take a closer look at the clutch here and find out uh, what we got going on. Alright, continuing disassembly of the, uh, of the clutch. First thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this E-clip. This large e-clip right here that's holding the yoke pin. Take pictures um, as you go so that you know how to reassemble it because it matters how the spring right here, and I'm kind of showing you with my thumb, it matters how that spring goes back on there. So, all right, I'm going to just lift that out and then you can see the spring there's the plunger safety plunger and you can see the springs wrapped right here it's actually on the on the on the bottom on the bottom back side it goes right like right like that right there all right let me back that camera out just a little bit so we can Take the spring off. The front side of the spring hooks to the body of the casting right here. And the, the back side of it goes down over the, the detent lever. Goes over the detent lever just like that. Back side of it over the detent lever. So let's take that out. Set that aside. Now our one to the other side. Going to remove this E-clip. E-clip and press washer. And the yoke pin should basically slide out, which means when you're lift, when it's lifting up and down, it's not spinning on the yoke pin. It's not spinning on the yoke pin. You can see it's not it's not it's not the yoke pin isn't free to move. The whole clutch is being lifted by the twisting action of the yoke pin. That yoke pin should be like very loose in there. So that that's what we run into when you and a lot of times just oiling it will not just make it work. I mean this has to come out so that that can be cleaned. That bore hole can be cleaned out real good, and and 
lubricated back up. So let's see what it's going to take to to get this thing out. All right, let's try to get this this yoke pin loose. I'm going to try to use a punch and again, this is a way, not the only way. This may not be the right way. May not be the wrong way either. It is just a way to do it. Sorry, loud noise. There we go. Pins moving. Pins loose. Pins free. All right. So that's going to allow us to to really to really get down inside here. Really clean this up um, and all the gunk. Um, it's very rough. Um, but we'll get that cleaned up. Um, I personally like to use some very light grit sandpaper on here to really smooth this up and, and, and get all the crud off of it. So I'm going to do that and then get this, get this swabbed out. Um, Q-tip, some isopropyl alcohol, try to get it cleaned the best we can and get it reassembled. When you get it reassembled, Reassembly, the pin should just slide right in and slide right out. It, it, I mean, it should be that loose. So let me do that, and uh, we'll be back. Now I'm even taking my Dremel tool, the wire, the wire brush on the end of it, just going on this thing, trying to get it, get it, get it cleaned up a little bit. If you really want to get crazy, get some carburetor and air intake cleaner. That'll remove all the, a lot of the tar and the grime and grit that's all over the, the clutch housing and clutch members. Um, using a well-ventilated area, this stuff is strong. So that pin, that pin feels really, really smooth now. There's no burrs or no, no, no grime built up on it. Um, I'm gonna hit this yoke, yoke housing with some carburetor cleaner here. Get my soft bristle brush, old toothbrush, if you will. Work it over. And it's really starting to get into the I'm getting into the into the grooves and I'm getting into the clutch. Clutch yoke really good here with this. Also inspect your your teeth on your on your clutch here. Make sure that none are broken. If you got broken teeth on the clutch, uh, you you got probably a you got a problem that you're not going to be able to resolve by cleaning the clutch. That's for sure. That washer I found was on the back of back of that right back of that right there. So. It's all good. All right, so let's get continue on cleaning this right here. Get that old grease out of there. roller all this is good I still haven't cleaned the bore out in this thing yet I'm gonna take a little piece of this sandpaper I'm gonna fold it inside out I'm gonna go in here and just kind of go in go in circles so I can 
so I try, try to clean that out right there. If you have a small wire brush, that, that, that might work well too, um, to get in there and just clean that inside of that clutch housing right there, that bore hole in the yoke. Let's do a test fit of this thing just to see what it what it what it feels like. I don't know that we're quite there yet, but let's let's, let's give it a shot and see what happens. Uh, make sure it's all lined up. Yeah, getting it lined up. That's a tricky part because there's an X, Y, and a Z axis. So you can see. I mean, it slid right in, and you can see I'm, I'm like rotating that pin. That that's act, that's what has to happen. Um, like I showed you earlier, I, it it that pin wouldn't rotate. It isn't free, and I tell you what, it's still pretty gritty in there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna work on that some more uh, with some with some sandpaper inside that, and see if I can't uh, get that a little smoother. Um, just even working the pin back and forth is helping a lot. So something to, something to do. Maybe we'll be back. So what I did, I took some sandpaper wrapped around a quarter inch dowel rod. Kind of fished it through. Working back and forth all the way through. Just number one, it, it takes up the whole, basically fills the hole with the, the sand, helps the sandpaper. I'm rotating counterclockwise against it so I'm not unrolling my paper in there. But you can see, you can see this, the, the dirt and the grime on the, on the paper even. So, yeah, we're doing some good for sure. Sandpaper in there. Let's give it one more hit of cleaner. One more hit of some sandpaper. It's not as bad as it was, that's for sure. Let's get this side, make sure I'm getting into the yoke. Best I can. Yes, work that sandpaper back. I'm working that sandpaper back and forth here. All right, so my spoke alcohol was trying to clean it. Sure, the manual has lubrication um, directions for what's supposed to go here as far as either grease or oil. I'm going to use a synthetic lightweight oil. It's the Liberty stuff. You guys have probably seen it. Um, you can see where we're at here with it. It's All right, let's test fit this pin one more time. Again, you got an X, Y, and a Z axis on this thing, trying to get these, everything lined up. So, work it back and forth. You know, again, that pin is 
that pin's loose. And as soon as I get some lubrication on that, it's really gonna, really gonna do well. So let's go ahead and get it lubricated up. And all right, I'm gonna go. I'll start by oil and put a drop, a couple drops of oil up here. Up, drops of oil right here, here. I think there's supposed to be some grease on that. We'll put some grease on it. Like all these, these fixtures, all these moving parts inside into the clutch member right there the bottom of the, the bottom of the scan wheel let's get that little drop on the detent lever button roller um, that to go and last but not least let's uh Put a drop of oil in here. Put some oil on that. Put a lot of oil on that. It needs to be wet. It needs to be loose here. It's got. It's got to move. Yeah, look at that. I mean it. You can see we're four miles ahead from where we were. That's for sure. All right. I want to get a little bit of. I'm going to use some super lube, super lubricant stuff here. I'm just going to pull it, just a squirt there, squirt on that. That'll look. Just get that stuff wet. All right. All right, now it's time to reassemble the, the clutch. And of course, first thing we're going to do is replace the E clip on. The back side. Let's make sure it's clean. All right. So on the back side of the clutch, closest to the detent switch lever. Let's put that, pin that back on there. All right. Now we're working back on the, on the front side, and this is where it gets interesting. All right. Let's get this thing cleaned. All right. Let me put some, some carburetor cleaner on it. Let's zoom this out just just a tail. Let's leave it there. Let me see how this thing goes back together. Hopefully, I'm smart enough to get it back together. All right. And here we go. First thing we're going to put on is our spring. And our spring goes just like it goes over the side of the clutch and it's going to wrap back around counterclockwise and go on to the back side of that just like that hold that in place um, this linkage is next we didn't really clean that up did we let's, let's make sure that Run and try to at least put put something in it. Yeah. Hold that spring up with my finger. Yeah, let's clean this up. And I'll put a little bit of oil on that too. All right. That's going to go down over the top top of this just like hold that just like this just like that Make sure you haven't pinched your spring. Uh, that doesn't look right. It sits down more. It's not right because the pin's not sticking through. So that's not correct. All 
that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes because that adjustment, that adjustment's for that right there. So it goes on with the adjustment side facing out. Washer there. Uh, let me put a washer there too. That's where it goes. Let's get this side on. Gonna clean it up. If you have a hard time getting these on, you can use a screwdriver and get right behind it. Kind of push in the middle it seats just like that let's take this other side off real quick and let's put the dishwasher on it there we go now Now we're, we're getting, getting places. This is going to go on like this as the safety plunger moves up and down. That's what kind of locks that safety plunger pin. Sorry, that's what kind of locks that safety plunger pin in place. Let me back out here. So here's where we're at. I'm getting ready to put the safety plunger pin back on right here. All right, we're continuing the reassembly of the of the of the clutch um, after we've pulled the yoke pin out actually had to remove it with a screwdriver kind of cleaned the bore the hole with a, a dowel rod and a piece of sandpaper here um, sprayed everything down used carburetor cleaner actually uh, to to kind of get all the, the, the grime and grist <laughs> grime and gristle out of it um, then went back with uh, some lightweight 20 light 20 weight oil um, to to, to kind of oil it up before we reassemble it. This is a good time also to make sure you inspect the teeth of, of your clutch and make sure that, uh, um, that that they're all there. I mean, if you've got broken teeth, then it is not going to scan. Um, once it hits that broken tooth, it's just going to sit. So um, we put the pins back in. We put the Eclipse back in with washers behind them. Got the spring back on, and again, we're getting ready to put the. I'm, gonna hit, I'm just gonna hit some hit, hit some more oil on 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 this thing right here. In my opinion, I say you can't have too much. I guess you can, but I mean, you want this you want this clutch to be to be free, and you want the clutch to move freely up and down on the yoke not rotating the pin and, and it, you can see I can take the pin with my fingers and I can I can move it around in the shaft because it's it's good and clean I'm gonna hit this with with some oil as well just and we know we got the the clutches the good to go so when, when this thing is in the play position this is up of course and this is freewheeling um, like this is up this is freewheeling around, playing your record. After it's all done, this gets moved, dropped down into the scan position. And now the same motor's turning, but now you can see it's moving your, 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 uh, 
your your scan your scan teeth. The play position, free wheeling up here, down in the, in the scan position, down like down here. And you can see this this clutch is 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 pretty good to go now. Um, we're getting ready to put the safety pin or safety plunger lever back on it. Um, and then we'll move the mech back over um, and try to get the clutch reinstalled. Keep in mind, although it looks like there should be a, a, a place for a an e-clip to go here, that's not. That is actually where that the spring connects from the from the from the trip lever up there. So this is going to go on facing outward, the hook facing out, and that's what that's what moves up and down and, and moves that clutch up moves that clutch up and down into scanning play position all right pause it for a minute we'll get the mech back over here in place and then we'll try to get this clutch reinstalled and see if we can make it scan manually be right back All right, while we're in here and have this removed, let's take this opportunity to go ahead and get some oil done on some on some moving parts here. I actually think there's an oil hole. You'll see an oil hole in here. Let me see if I can lean this in. There's an oil hole right here. Good place to get some oil in there. Any place metal to metal contact anything you can see that's that's going to pivot on itself or move or safety this is the safety plunger a lot of times if you have a mechanism where it's a reject and play reject and play reject and play um, it, it, it's typically due to a sticky clutch but the reason why it's doing it is because when it's in the play position, this this rod is down over the safety plunger right here. So when it's ejecting the record, the, the clutch isn't moving well enough for this to, to, to lift up far enough for this to be for this to move properly, and it's going down and it, it's it's putting the putting the record back and it's putting the record. Uh, Pulling the record right back up into it. And that's the safety plunger. That's that also keeps a keeps the mech from moving if there's a record loaded and possibly breaking records. That's why they call it a safety plunger. It needs to be able to move really freely in there too. Um, this mech honestly is is trashed. Um, I, I don't honestly don't know if we're going to be able to get it to completely work, but I'm going to try. Um, and all right. Here we go. This is the hard part. Again, towards us. Let's see. Get the detent detent tool or the detent lever back down in here. Try to get everything worked back up underneath. Actually lifted the mech off the rails, which probably is not the best thing. I haven't, I still have the safety plunger in my hand. Um, there is a switch um, right here on this side that that detent tool rides on. You got to make sure that that switch is not getting jammed up and is in the right spot so that it can uh, close the detent lever. Or the detent switch um, when it when it's scanning. That's how it's tracking and enumerating. Again, you got the neck lifted off. The... Getting these things lined back up. Sometimes. Because you're dealing with 
the teeth on the yeah, you're dealing with the teeth on the on the clutch and you need to make sure they're seated properly here so that that's actually on but I don't have this on yet so let's see if I can do this a different way will this slide on while I have everything in place got it on one side Unfortunately, work let it out. No. Alright, on there. Trying to get it in the in the in the slot at the top and on the pin at the same time. While well, all while trying to keep it on the clutch itself. Maybe not. Again, there may be somebody may have a trick to this. Rich has no trick. It is brute force and see if I can put it on, up on here first and then slip the bottom in. Yeah, you know what? That worked. That worked pretty good. Now, the moment of truth. And it's time I mean, screw you can see this. It's time to go after this, and we've got to put it right back, right back on there. And maybe, maybe not. Let's see. there first time look at that got it on all right now let's see if i can get the clutch all lined back up in place and seated back right of course it's moved so because the holes are not lined up bottom that's yeah, so it shouldn't be freewheeling like that because it's in scan mode so just as soon as those teeth grab the rail make sure the detent lever's out of the way there it goes and let's see if we can't get this thing worked back into oh, it's almost there Let's sort of temporarily hold it in place here.
So what I'm trying to do is lift that safety plunger up. The bottom tang on it was not was was, was it fallen down. Therefore, it wouldn't the clutch wouldn't seat properly um, to the right. I think I think I, I think I got it. I lifted it up a little bit and with a screwdriver and that allowed the bottom of the clutch I'm still holding the detent lever over to the right so it isn't smashing on the on the on the on the switch I want to check that I want to make sure that I am on the right side of that and if I'm not of course I'm not um, back it out if I can move that without there we go that's better that's better All right. very important to make sure your your detent lever here is the pin is on the back side of the of the pad that it that it this when the star wheel turns that, it, that pushes to make the contact. You don't want that thing all bent up. So, take your time when putting this thing back together. And make sure everything's kind of lined up. And I think. I mean, that's. That's. that's all right, all right, I get one of the bottom screws. The bottom screws are always the hardest because they're down in there. They're down in here. They're down in here deep. So back this out a little bit. Well, all you can do is kind of try to work it with your finger or get some stick them on the back of the screw head. That'll possibly Stick it to your screwdriver. I'm gonna spray my screwdriver here real quick with a little bit of just contact adhesive. Let's see if that'll work. Probably not. Too oily. Of course. Can I just get lucky and finish it in there? Fished it in there real gentle. All right, there's one, and here's the hard one because it is even narrower to get to. Lucky. All right. Let's make sure they're snug for right now. Reconnect the detent spring. All right. So I think we're to the point where the clutch is installed. Um, it's it's clean. Let's back this out. Let's see if we have any motion. Uh, what do we? Let me try to scan. And you can see, look at there. I think 
or scanning. I hit the trip lever. Now we should go into the transfer mode, transferring. Sure, I've got that. That's, it doesn't look right. I'm gonna have to take this clutch back out. But anyhow, you can see we are we were scanning, so the clutch has been disassembled, taken out, it's cleaned. It's all good. We got a little bit more to do to tighten it up. We'll be good to go. All right, I need to update the uh, reassembly instructions here a little bit. Um, I, I put it together a little bit backwards. So when you're reassembling the clutch. The clutch lift lever goes on first before this this member here so it goes underneath that that way it's straight inside the clutch and isn't on the outside bent in bent inward so now let's try to get the clutch back on maybe a little smoother this time a little better gotta work it back in yeah. Again, make sure you're paying attention to your detent switch, your detent lever. It uh, it matters. Um, all right, lean it out. All right, here we go, trying to work the safety lever into position on the pin and through the slot, all kind of at the same time. Go at it at an angle. Not sure there is an easy, easy way. It just you might be able to try to move the, the the clutch lifting lever. Try to pull it over with your thumb. Maybe that'll give you a little bit of space to to work. You can reach around the clutch. That, yeah, yeah, that helps. That does help. All right, so there we go. Now we're kind of back to the. So I was able to kind of use my thumb, zoom in here a little bit, maybe you can see it. I was able to use my thumb and move the the the, the lifting, the clutch lifting lever right here kind of pull it over to the right so you can kind of get this the, the safety plunger into the slot and over the pin at the same time and now you kind of back to position where putting on the small clip so here we go second time around it's going to be just just as smooth I hope let's see like looks like I have it on and you see I'm wiggling it and it's on now again detent lever everything everything looks straight now not not bent or pushed or pulled so let me get things try to get things lined up Let's get that on the 
hold it. And the bottom screw is in it, so the bottom screws are still under. Okay. Got lucky. Let's do the other side. Just not, just not tight yet, just snug. Just to hold it. Alright. Screw here. Try to bullet, rocket it in place. And get in there. Before you get real far, check your detent switch, your detent lever, make sure that they're both free and lined up properly. You can go back in here. To the mech so you can get the clutch lined up flush so those, so those bottom screws will, will pull or else you're just kind of spinning on it. All right, those are tight. That's tight. That's tight. Now everything looks straight now. Let's Give it a shot and see what happens. Now, you know, one piece we got to put back in on. So let's put our spring on. Bottom up goes around that pin on the clutch. And then the top of it hooks over. See what we got. We got any thing at all here. So we are lifting into play position. And that clutch lifting lever we should fall into the notch here in a second. Just like that. And now you know basically we're freewheeling. We're, we're in the play position. If I trip it, it should be cam starting to rotate again. Yeah. Record's going to be pulled back down into the record rack. Clutch drops into clutch not dropping into scan mode. <laughs> 